This is regrettably uh, far from the first of these incidents. It's far from the first of these incidents <coughs> since I arrived in Bermuda last May. There is something particularly horrifying, both that two young men on this occasion have lost their lives and that it was in a very public place uh, where I think many of us could identify with being there. There are two practical things I would like to say. One is that there is a risk which must be avoided of retaliation. I will not fool myself that the hardcore gang members will listen to a governor, to a premier, to a minister or a police commissioner. But there are people around the people who commit or might commit such offences who are loving, who are good citizens, who are concerned. And I do appeal to them to do all in their power to discourage any form of retaliation which would be as futile as the murders we saw last night. And secondly, I appeal to those same people, if they know anything about these murders, and I know that this may involve some courage, please give information to the police, and if that is too difficult, give it to the confidential Crime Stoppers line. I was due yesterday, uh, I was due tomorrow, in any case, to have meetings uh, with ministers about structures of joining up right across government and joining up with the police to address the underlying problems and the multiple problems facing uh, potential gang members, people who might get caught up in this sort of dreadful activity. That meeting will go ahead, but it will be joined now by the Premier uh, and by the Commissioner, and that is an illustration of the continuation of serious consideration of these things, but at an intensified uh, depth. And lastly, and most importantly, I extend my heartfelt condolences to the families, the friends, the loved ones of the two young men who died last night. Thank you. Thank you.